So that is just the variations of questions available in the market. And then how we are utilizing that response, how we are manipulating, what is the base condition, how you are actually thinking and exploring the problems by using recursion. Uh, it is a sub problem, not a altogether above problem. Hi guys, welcome to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel and in this video, we are going to see top 10 algorithms that you should prepare for your upcoming coding interviews. And these top 10 algorithms are not complex or something, these are the fundamental techniques so that you can prepare these fundamental techniques and go through any questions that are having these basics or variation of these techniques okay so the thing is in the interview if you prepare for these 10 questions these 10 top al uh, top algorithms what would happen is if there is a variation or some kind of different application of these fundamentals you can immediately think about it what happens whenever you are given a question in that question, you need to identify what is the question asking, what is the output and have you ha earlier solved a particular question around this and what technique you use that in that. Okay, so that is just the variations of questions available in the market, but altogether the parent questions or the algorithms are pretty similar. So we will discuss these top 10 algorithms. So do watch out these this uh, video uh, till the end. Okay. Before moving ahead, let me tell you about the Coding Ninja's YouTube channel. We bring you daily general long shorts, technical videos and live sessions. And in these videos, they, uh, there are various um, topics uh, discussed with you. These are very helpful to you in your upcoming coding interviews and placement season. So do check out YouTube channel of Coding Ninja's to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified for every new video. Let's get started with this top 10 algorithms. Now, first of all, understanding the basic fundamental techniques is very much important for this algorithm. The number one algorithm that I would like to tell you about is on the traversal of trees or graph that is depth first search. In the depth ser first search, what happens is we go over a node and we see what are the children of these nodes are and then we put these children in a stack and one by one we iterate over that top element of the stack and move ahead. What happen is whether it is a tree, whether it is a graph or whether it is a some question in which we can convert it into a tree or graph and then traverse using depth first search. So there are various questions. What happen is whenever you are having an interview rounds of a company in one of the interview round, it will be definitely asked that what are the traversal algorithms? Okay. So uh, what are the tra traversal algorithms and uh, even a question on the application of these traversal algorithm. The second uh, topic is also around the same traversal algorithm that is breadth first search. Now, what are the fundamental difference between these two? In the depth first search and in the breadth first search, the fundamental difference is in the order of traversal of child node. What happens in the best first search BFS, we use a queue to traverse on the children node. And in the depth first search, we use a stack to iterate over the children nodes. So this is the difference. The order of traversal is changed. Okay. The third algorithm that I would like to uh, tell you about that I have seen extensively is on matching parenthesis problem. What happen is there is uh, some kind of parenthesis or some kind of brackets that you need to match out in a string or uh, there can be variation of this question also. In the uh, question we use stack. We maintain a stack or we can definitely use recursive algorithm also but those are more complex and in, in the sense more time taking in the stack we can just maintain okay these are the opening brackets or opening parenthesis and if the uh, after traversal of whole string is there any element available in the stack again if it is so that means the uh, matching parenthesis fail in the particular question the point is overall when moving ahead in the question of matching parenthesis by using stack or recursive algorithm the thing is that I have also seen in one of my interview questions that we have to use some kind of uh, it is a sub problem, not a altogether above problem. So what happens whenever you are asked a question in an interview, the question is not directly given. It is definitely application of a fundamental problem given to you. OK, the fourth topic that I would like to tell you about is hash table or maps. So there can be various scenarios where you need to use map to keep track of something on the basis of some key value. What happen is whenever you need to do so, you need to create a map or hash table and then use that data structure to store or keep track of the visited uh, items or something. 
that is very much uh, helpful in many of the algorithmic questions or the rounds okay the fifth point is the up pointer approach okay so you have seen multiple questions on string or multiple questions on uh, linked list like in linked list we have two pointers fast and slow in string we need to traverse from both the ends multiple pointers so the, it is not like an algorithm it is like a technique in this what we need to uh, have is there can be two pointers there can be three pointers but how to manipulate multiple variables and pointers all together in a for loop or in a proper code snippet that is main thing so whenever you are trying to solve the question on the basis of this you can definitely use these techniques and definitely practice around this because these are some kind of sub problem solving techniques okay you have to break the bigger problem into small chunks now you need to solve that small chunks on the basic level so you can use these algorithms right also you can uh, take an example of uh, reversing a linked list right so reversing a linked list what happen is uh, in the reversing a linked list we have three different variables to keep track of that is very important question because reversing a linked list is can be solved using iterative method or recursive method and whenever you are preparing for linked list type questions reversing a linked list is very fundamental question and people still get confused in doing so i would also like to tell you example along with the reversing a linked list is longest palindromic substring using two pointers so longest pal palindromic substring using two pointers what happen is we go through the each of the element in the string and uh, character and we go to a character and then expand the two pointers in the both way and then moving to the next character resetting the values of the both the pointers and then moving ahead and finding the longest palindromic substring so these are the basic examples of manipulating multiple variables and pointers all right so let's get to the sixth algorithm the sixth algorithm that i would like to tell you about is using of heaps and priority queues so using heaps and priority queues is very much important because how they are uh, recently been asked in multiple interview rounds and online assessment also the basic structure of heap how the insertion happens in the heap deletion happens what is heapify algorithm how priority queues are made and how we use heap sort by using heapify and what are the time complexities and space complexities of all these algorithms are very important on the seventh number i would like to tell you about the sorting fundamentals or the basic of how sorting works so whenever you are moving ahead with your interview round or coding assessment you should make sure that you know the sorting fundamentals you know different different sorting methods like bubble sort selection sort insertion sort these check off and square time what are the space complexities for quick sort merge sort the time complexity is reduced to n log n and why it is reduced how we are actually traversing the uh, array or um, string or numbers we can say and how we are actually implementing the merge sort or quick sort in merge sort or quick sort we have a, a child function also used in that so how we can use that child function in different questions also because there are application of that particular child function in the various questions also so that will be very helpful to you all right moving ahead with the number 8 or uh, like we have covered the number uh, seven till now now number eight is on the recursion and backtracking so what happen is either some of the coders either love recursion or either they hate but it is necessary to prepare because in many interview rounds see when you go in a company or firm and when you are working you rarely see a recursive code but what happens why this is asked so much uh, intensively in the coding rounds and in your online assessment or your interviews because the logical thinking that goes behind your recursive algorithm is very much uh, given importance like how you are keeping track of the variables what is the response we are getting from the children function and then how we are utilizing that response how we are manipulating what is the base condition how you are actually thinking and exploring the problems by using recursion because it is asked a lot because it grills you logically that's why it is asked a lot in the uh, interview rounds and coding section okay in the number 9th i would like to tell you about the binary search so in the binary search it is really fundamental and what happen is there are various amazing question on build on the binary search itself what happens is whenever you are trying to solve a question on binary search it is pretty simple you are given a sorted array or something you are going in the mid and asking hey i want to find this number and is the number bigger than you or smaller than you if the number is smaller you are immediately eliminating the bigger half of the input and similarly you are reducing the input uh, re eliminating the smaller half or the bigger half what what is the main thing is you are using log and dem to solve this question and moving ahead the space complexity is just often so that's why the binary search is very much important and 
the application of binary search is finding uh, in an infinite array or uh, there are questions like uh, aggressive cows or book allocation problems or various questions around that those are the amazing questions built on binary search whenever you are given a sorted algorithm or sorted array sorry so uh, you need to definitely find out a way to use binary search in it okay Moving to the last topic is on the sliding windows. So sliding window is some of the topic like it can have a static window size from uh, three window size or four window size or K size window. And you need to find uh, optimal thing like maximum in the window or something substring or sub array type of questions definitely use sliding windows. And also there are dynamic size windows like you need to find out largest window or something on the basis of your judgment. So these are the questions or algorithms that are very much asked like uh, there are questions on sliding window. And like example that I have just told you of finding maximum uh, element in K size window. That is pretty straightforward, but various questions on stating and dynamic size windows are definitely asked. So these are the top 10 algorithms that I would like to suggest you to prepare beforehand before coming to your interviews or coding assessment. This will actually not help you only to brush up your basics, but will actually help you to solve the sub problems in bigger problems asked in the interviews. So. On the basis of these basic algorithms, there are variations asked in the interview and that will actually help you to solve them. Okay, so do always keep a copy pen prepared with you, dry run your code and then only go to the implementation of the code part because designing and making a logic is the number one priority that should be given. Okay, this is all about this video. If you like this video, do like, share and subscribe to the Coding Ninjas YouTube channel and also do comment down any queries you have to this video. Okay, do hit the bell icon on the Coding Ninjas YouTube channel so that you get notified for every new video. That's about this video. Thank you. Bye bye.